Hey, welcome to the Tech for All channel and welcome back to my balcony. And sure, it's time for another action camera review. We already know the Firefly 8S pretty well, and it's quite an awesome camera, so how about combining its great features with a non distortion lens? It sounds awesome. Now uh, we'll start with the basics unboxing, uh, main features review, and probably a few video teasers. And very soon, probably in a few days, uh, I'll be ready with a deep dive using various shooting scenarios. I'd like to thank GearBest for providing this sample for a review. And if you're looking to buy this camera, this is the first part of the information you might want to know. This is a Ryan Little production. The Firefly 8S is among the most tempting deals of 2017 and knowing its qualities it is easy to expect a lot from the special variation with the non-distortion lens. For those of you who are not familiar with this terminology, let's keep it simple and say that using the latter one you will never see curved trees because of the fisheye effect that a 170 degree lens would have. From the package, which is indeed great, there are two things which are different to the original version, the waterproof housing and the camera itself. To be more precise, it is because of the size of the lens. Let's compare it to the wide-angle moto for a scale. The conclusion is that the non-distortion lens needs more room, therefore it's dedicated waterproof housing if you want to use it underwater. Other than that, these cameras are almost identical. Same battery size, 1200 mAh, same buttons, the great selfie mirror and a bunch of great accessories. And the fairly bad microphone as well. The only thing I would add is protection rubber cap for the lens. Like this one. I'm using a spare from my GitHub Git2 Pro and it costs about $6. Too much for this. Navigation and menus are also identical. I was surprised to see the field of view settings here and they actually work. Note that the FOV stuff appears after you update the firmware to at least 1.33 and I was using 131 for the review. Oh, and that's another good news! Firmware is the same no matter which lens is being used. I got my Firefly 8S original version a month ago and since then there already are 4 firmware updates. Having such a good support makes me feel certain that the camera is well maintained. In the menus you will find control over pretty much everything you may want to change – exposure, color representation, brightness and so on – and still the defaults do great. Picture quality is outstanding. Until now this slight fisheye effect from the action cameras I've had was never so obvious to me, but after I made a bunch of photos that have no weird looking corners, I started to realize that these extra $40 are quite worth it. Gyro stabilization makes a good compensation for minor shakes and for a serious action event better get a gimbal. More on this topic and some other great footage you will see in the deep dive video. Until then, happy YouTubing and if you have a spare minute and like the channel, think about subscribing. Thanks!